Indian entrepreneurship has come of age. We see budding entrepreneurs from startups to established companies. So Indians are not just very good at entrepreneurship in India itself. They're good at entrepreneurship at a global scale. They can take on odds like COVID and actually come out better than they came in. This year has proved that if you stick through, you will come out as a winner. So that's why they're the unstoppables. And I think India is going to benefit from this crop of entrepreneurs, which is going to make our economy very resilient. And this is the one year, if you were a finalist, then you are a winner enough. Uh, nothing better than saying you're unstoppable. There are many awards in this country for recognizing businessmen, but a focused award which looks at entrepreneurship as the key lens through which a person's and businesses are evaluated is a unique EY property. Awards like this are very powerful because they encourage entrepreneurship. They're a great set of awards built thoughtfully over time on a, on a strong brand. I would say that the process which they follow is quite rigorous. So the credibility which it carries, that matters quite a lot. ENY Entrepreneur of the Year Award is just understanding uh, the pain which goes into building a company. It is such a well-run process by EY that just recognition from that jury, that I think achieving a milestone with that is something which is credible. I remember the first time I got this award and I think that was a very big recognition for me as someone who plays in this pharma sector. Therefore, I think it's absolutely important just the way gold medals are important at the end of Olympic race. I think the judging process this year was different. We went about really looking at each of the candidates, assessed their ability to carve out a different future from the present. You know, it's great to bring, bring people together who have very differing points of view, differing experiences and so forth. The debates are always healthy and lively and constructive. The level of preparation which goes into the companies which have been looked at, the level of data which is being provided is immense. The entries which were received, every category, there was a very tough competition. We had a lot of emphasis put how the organization has come out through the crisis that the world is seeing. We like that in certain businesses where people were able to actually navigate their course due to the challenges being thrown at them. And I'm happy to share with you that the names of winners reflect the ability to bear shocks and also differentiate business models for a different future. That doesn't give us confidence in the next 100 years of India, nothing will.